my friends. Welcome to what we're going to be looking about today. The Big Book of Colors. This one's not so much a storybook as a bit of a color adventure. This one even has a table of contents. We'll be learning all a whole world of color. Blues, greens, yellows, orange, red, pink, purple, black, gray, white, brown, and then mixing colors, changing colors, moods and meanings in all of the colors. A world of color. All the colors on these pages can be made from just three colors. The primary colors, they can't be made from other colors, red, yellow, and blue. These are the secondary colors. Each one is made from two primary colors, orange, red, and yellow, purple, blue, and red, and green, yellow, and blue. Now you might see things a little bit differently when we think about primary colors. Sometimes we think of magenta and cyan. It's not wrong. It's just a different way of looking at it. When we think of the primary colors being red, yellow, blue, we're thinking about the colors of light. Some scientists say that our eyes can see about 10 million different colors. You can use all the colors above to make other shades. Here are just a few shades of green. Forest green, lime green, mint green, leaf green. A wheel like this one helps you see how different colors work together. We have our warm colors or our red tones on this side and our cool colors or blue tones on this side. On a color wheel like this, the primary colors are spaced out equally. The secondary and other colors like tertiary fit in between. Reds and oranges are warm colors. Blues and greens are cool colors. Colors opposite each other are called complementary colors. And so if I turn this wheel, look how lovely blue and orange look together, and reds and greens, and purple and yellow. They also do something really special when you mix them together. We'll find out about that in a bit. First, let's look at blue. Our planet looks blue from space. Many sailors, pilots, and police officers' uniforms are navy blue. So in this book, you will see 130 different colors. These are all different shades of blue. About half the people in the world say that blue is their favorite color. Feeling blue means feeling sad. I love this color blue, cyan blue, and common blue, and cerulean, cornflower blue. There's so many different wonderful blue shades. We can't miss green. Green is a common color and the color of nature and spring. The chemical that gives plants their green color is called chlorophyll. Green fingers or a green thumb means that you're good at growing something. Human eyes can see more shades of green than any other color. You can get green by mixing blue and yellow. Avocado, olive, fern, asparagus, bottle, pea, green with envy, jade, apple, chartreuse. So many beautiful shades of green. They can range so far into very blues and very yellows because they're mixed with those two. Speaking of yellow, what an energetic color. This big yellow taxi. Yellow is the brightest color. Vincent van Gogh used a new kind of yellow paint for his famous sunflower paintings. 
mellow yellow, school bus yellow, egg yolk sunshine, custard. The leader of Tour de France cycle race wears a yellow jersey. There's a song that says we all live in a yellow submarine. In the movie called The Wizard of Oz, they have a yellow brick road. Sand and straw and everything. Orange. The first time the word orange was written down to mean a color was 1512. It was named after a ripe orange fruit. Pumpkin. Orange is the color of Halloween, the color of fall and sunsets and falling leaves. This is safety orange. It's very bright, like neon. Orange is often seen as things that need to be seen, such as life jackets, light bulbs, and road workers' jackets. We use orange when we color fire. We look at copper metals, and you can get to orange by mixing yellow and red. Red. Fire engine red and burgundy and scarlet. Santa wears a red suit. Red, the color of Christmas. The scarlet poppies. Red can mean danger in nature. These are fly agaric mushrooms, which are poisonous. Paint the town red means to go out and have fun. Red is the color of stop signs all over the world. Red, red robin. Strawberries prancing on a big red bus. Little red riding hood walking on the red carpet, holding a red balloon. Red balloons are my favorite. Next we have pink. You can make pink by adding a little bit of red to white. Over 100 years ago, baby boys wore pink because it was seen as a color of strength. Tickled pink means very pleased. Piggy pink, a pink Cadillac, magenta, salmon pink, flamingo pink. Most flamingos get their pink color by the foods that they eat. Pink is the color most often used for sweet foods and drinks, like cupcakes and cotton candy. Here we have purple. The yellow spice saffron comes from purple crocus flowers. You can make purple by mixing red and blue together. I really like light blue and pink together to get a very happy, bright purple. Lavender, amethyst deceiver mushrooms, plum, eggplant, iris, violets, mauve, and purple emperor butterflies. Purple is so beautiful. Look at those lovely lilacs. Black. Black as night, ebony, licorice, jet black. You can make any color darker by adding black. Gray, lead, pewter, battleship, slate. You can make gray by mixing black and white. Graphite, like into in your pencils, is gray. And then white. A white dove is a sign of peace. If you spin a color wheel fast enough, all the colors would blend together to make white. Add white to any color to make it paler. White as snow. I love the snowdrops. They're so pretty. Brown, tan raw umber nut. Brown bear sepia. Brown is very good for hiding in nature and is very common for birds and animals. Chocolate, coffee, terracotta, fawn. You can mix yellow, red, and blue to make brown, but there's many other ways to make it too. Here's a review of how we mixed our colors. When you mix two or more colors, each color gets a new name. Here you can get with just mixing red, yellow, and blue. 
blue and yellow to make green, red and blue to make purple, yellow and red to make orange, yellow and green to make chartreuse, red and purple to make magenta, yellow and orange to make amber, green and blue to make viridian, orange and red to make vermilion, purple and blue for violet, and yellow, red, and blue for brown. Notice that some of these are our secondary colors. You see them on the color wheel. But you need a fancier color wheel to get some of these extra ones, like chartreuse, magenta, and violet. Those are our tertiary colors. They're made by mixing our secondary colors with a primary color. And don't forget that you can add black to make color darker or white to make it lighter. We're going to flip through here to see how the color shapes change in these pictures. Look closely. What happens when we have this green and bring over a pink? See how the colors mix and change? Watch again. Watch our spot. We made purple here with our pink spots. Sometimes there's different ways we can mix colors. We can get different shades of browns and grays by mixing different complements. Here are a few more of our moods. We talked a little bit about this. All around the world, people believe that colors are connected with different feelings, meanings, and moods. What do these colors mean for you? The famous writer William Shakespeare said jealousy was a green-eyed monster. The green could also mean natural and new, healing, restful, young, or jealous and sick. Pink is usually seen as soft, caring, beautiful, sensitive, friendly, and sweet. Purple, rich, magical, mysterious, famous, royal, wise, luxurious or vain and proud. Yellow, sunny, hopeful, cheerful, anxious, fresh, happy, cowardly. Notice that not everything has the same meanings and no one color is all positive or all negative. Red, in China, a red lantern stands for happiness and good luck. Powerful, warm, strong, dangerous, brave, angry. Blue, calm, cold, confident, peaceful, sad, reliable. Bluebirds mean that happiness is on its way. Orange, orange is the most common color for orangutans, but the least common for humans. Orange can feel joyful, fun, successful, silly, active, healthy, or energetic. Here are some common phrases with color. Yellow bellied means coward, like a scaredy cat. Seeing red means getting very angry. Once in a blue moon means not very often. Green around the gills means that you're looking or feeling sick. In the pink means looking and feeling healthy. Here are all the colors in her beautiful rainbow tree. Do you have a favorite color too? I wonder if I could pick just one. I love the greens and I love the pinks, but all the colors make me so happy. What's your favorite? Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.